going on, y'all? It's Eat with Patrick Blackwood, and this is what we have here today. We got some late night breakfast. I got scrambled eggs with cheese with spinach with some egg waffles, y'all. If you guys haven't subscribed, go ahead and subscribe. Tell you guys now, I'm gonna tell you guys this. Your boy is back on OnlyFans. Ladies, if you haven't seen my OnlyFans, you're missing out. I'm doing my grown man business. And we about to have the description box, what we talk about, how I made my eggs and everything. We're gonna get the show on the road. Amen. Oh, oh Lord. Straight delicious. Feel like Popeye. Gotta have your spinach. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. I hope you guys are having a great day. Because I am. This breakfast put my right in a good freaking mood. Real talk. These waffles, you don't even need syrup. I'm about to say spinach. You don't even need spinach. You don't need any syrup on this thing. What is wrong with me today? I'm thinking about spinach and syrup, spinach and syrup, spinach and syrup. I don't need any syrup on this thing, man. It's so sweet. It's so delicious. Mmm. <laughs> if you could be here right now. Mmm. Mmm. Mmm, mmm, mmm. And they're so soft. Look at this. Look at that. Golly. Mmm. How they make something so amazing. So delicious. And so sweet. Oh my God. Mmm. Y'all, today, I've been going through it. I don't know who to trust. I don't know. I trust my head coach. <clears throat> At all. He gaslighted me. And I don't think this relationship would ever be paired. It's crazy. He sit down and he wrote me so many times trying to convince me certain chat people that's not racist. And that raised a red flag for me. I had some incidents that come off really racist. Like today, for instance, I went to the gym. 
And this owner is like this big, this big buff white guy. I see him all the time. But this is the first time that his energy really, really like came off really like standoffish and like you can tell that he didn't like me around his area. I got that vibe. Now, I never disrespect this guy. I never came out disrespectful. Unless you try me. You understand? I'm not that type of guy. But the fact that Yeah, this egg was so good. I needed this. The fact that they've been fucking with me for the past couple of weeks. Real talk. My gym membership wasn't was expired. Me having an incident with the owner, head coach, doing things late, gaslight me to president doing stuff. I don't have anything against the president because he, he's actually really trying, but he got a lot of damn things on his plate. I give him that. But they've been really, they've really been insulting my intelligence and I just been watching them how they move. I just didn't like the fact that I see certain players come late and I get blamed for being late for four minutes and I keep in touch. You get what I mean? And it's so crazy because I see him walk past, he don't say, he don't, he, he shake their hands and he ain't say nothing to them. They come in late. I don't even know if they even contact them and say like, hey, I'm going to be late. I'm this amount of traffic, this and that. I do that. I made sure I contact coach. It's like, hey, I'm this late, such and such with taxi. Because remember, I, it's it's that it's not that much people out here in the population. So depending on how many people's working as a taxi driver, you get what I mean. And not only that, they gave me my transportation two weeks ago and tell me to ride the bus that I don't even know how to ride a bus to get to practice. And then they expect somebody to do that for me to teach me. Never showed up. So how are you gonna tell me to take a transportation to get somewhere and the person that supposed to take me or show me how to use it to get to the practice never showed up? Because I'm lost. And I just feel like they take my intelligence, they abuse my intelligence, they, they don't respect me as a man and I don't understand that. I understand they're threatened by me and my presence, my energy is just so crazy. You feel me? Like I ain't, I don't do anything crazy to nobody. I, I can't, I'm kind of practice. I do my thing. You got practice two twice a week. I do my thing and I'm chilling. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm, I stay out of everybody's way. I stay out of everybody's way. He want his favorite buddy to run the ball and give him a starting position. I did that. I, I took the bench. I come in. I still dominate. 
and I still I still ball. I do that because I'm that damn good. It's not being cocky. I'm confident in my own game. I'm just better than everybody else because I train so much harder. I put the time in. And people don't understand that I really put the time in. Like, seriously, I put the time in. I just don't say that just to say that. I've been really, this is this is my way out. Now that I have YouTube now, football was my way out back then. So you know how many preparation, do you know how much work I put on my body? How many times I worked out in, in a day? Man, I sleep, breathe this shit, man. I sleep, breathe it. And I don't think he understand that. I don't care who you put across me. I'm a dominant. That's point, point blank simple, bro. I'm a dominate. I'm a dominate. That's what I do. That's why I work out with the best. Because I'm always asking questions. I'm always wanting to know how to be the best. I train with the best. And I learn from the best to be the best. That's the thing. I I rise on challenge. I never shy away from challenge. That's the reason why I'm I'm that damn good. Point blank simple. But I want to say thank you guys for being here with me. If you haven't subscribed, go ahead and subscribe, like, and share. Share with your family, share with your friends as well. And I'll see you guys on my next one. Love.